The only threat was from the police. Imagine you have two children, seven and nine years old. You want to let them walk to the Dunkin' Donuts a few blocks away from your house, but they don't ever make it there. Instead, what happens is the police show up at your door and give you a big story about how registered sex offenders might show up and steal your children from off the side of the road. So you shouldn't do that. And when you don't cater to this paranoid demand, they arrest your husband, and then they threaten to arrest you. That's what really happened to someone in Connecticut. They let their children walk on their own, unsupervised, to a Dunkin' Donuts not far from their home. But they never made it there. They made it about two or three blocks before the police picked them up and took them back to the house and told them, oh, you're, you're gonna have these, these evil predators are gonna like pick off your children if you do stuff like that. You can't do that. Well, Mr. Officer, um, I, don't, I don't think that that's true. Okay, well, to keep your children safe, we're going to arrest your husband and threaten to arrest you and send Child Protective Services to your home to harass and upset you and just generally make things really difficult for you and stressful for your children. The irony of this government mandated monopoly on violence is just insane. We have people that show up to someone's house because they allow their children who are just of the age to where it's pretty safe for them to walk a few blocks from their house and buy a donut. They intercept the children and they show up saying, it's dangerous for children. It's, it's a new world out there. Actual quote from them. It's a different world out there these days. Well, no, the truth is that people just are paranoid where they used to not be. It actually used to be far more dangerous in the past than it is today. But <clears throat> let's be honest here. They don't really care. These are power tripping police. And with their government granted monopoly on violence, what they did is show up at these parents' door and say, your children are in danger. If they walk alone, you have to keep your children supervised at all times. They can't be let out of your sight or a bunch of baby rapists will come out of the bushes and intercept them and throw them in the back of their free candy van and take them off and you'll never see them again and they'll be brutally raped and tortured and that'll be the end of it. But what really happened is the police showed up. The police picked the children up off the sidewalk. The police interfered with the family's life. The police put the family in danger. The police arrested family members. The police split up the family, threatened the family. The only threat was from the police. The police who claimed that they were doing it to keep you safe. So it goes something like this. We're going to keep your children safe from people picking up your children off the side of the road. So what we're gonna do is pick your children up off the side of the road, and then we're going to arrest you. This makes perfect sense to absolutely fucking no one. This kind of thing should not happen. This should not be tolerated in the United States of America. Any police officer doing this should have some good old fashioned vigilante justice exacted upon him because this is gross abuse of power. You should not tolerate it. Anybody who is responsible should be summarily ejected from your local government. Don't put up with this crap. And yes, there is a risk. There is a risk sending a seven and a nine year old out to walk alone a few blocks on the side of the road. But there's risk in everything you do. The truth is, these children were more likely to be harmed if they got into their parents' car and drove to school than if they walked a few blocks down the road to a donut shop. But they take that risk every day they go to school, don't they? They get in a motorized vehicle that could very well end up in an accident that could cripple or kill them every single day that they go to school. So. The risk assessment here is pretty bonkers, isn't it? The real risk was actually from the nosy police who somehow got a dozen reports, a dozen 911 calls. They literally said a dozen 911 calls about these isolated children walking alone. The children didn't even make it two blocks. They walked past about four houses. So how, how did this happen? How, how did so many 911 calls happen 
when the children made it two blocks? Well, obviously, and this is my conjecture, but obviously, the police were lying. These small town cops had nothing better to do, so they decided to screw with these children and their parents. God knows if there was some sort of overriding reason, some sort of thing that just wasn't ever mentioned, some kind of animosity that someone had, and they were like, hey, yeah, if you ever see any opportunity to screw these two people over, take it. Oh, hey, there's those two people's kids. Let's go screw them over. I don't know that that's what happened exactly, but it seems to me that these police had way too much spare time on their hands. Those resources could have been used for literally anything else, including going and getting a damn donut. The right thing for them to do would have been to follow the kids quietly and leave them alone, see to it that they made it to their destination. At worst, ask them, hey, what are y'all doing? Where are you going? We're going to the donut shop. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, have, a, have a good one. And then follow them and make sure they make it to the donut shop. If you're really that concerned, you can just sort of follow them. You don't have to do this thing where you damage the family, you put the children under stress, you arrest parents. None of this is necessary. This is gross misconduct, gross abuse of power, intolerable abuse of power. Children are future adults. Your job as a parent, your job as a teacher, a mentor, anything like that, is to help in the bringing up of a future adult. And that process, various seeds, various threads of it, begin at various ages. But independence is important. Independence is a vital skill that a lot of people who are college age today sorely lack. They're not used to being on their own, independent. They're not used to mommy and daddy not hovering over them and causing problems for anyone who might give them a B minus instead of a B plus. They're not used to this. And it's made for a pretty crappy society today, if you ask me. Lots and lots of lunatics, lots and lots of violence and crazy behavior, lots of isolation, lots and lots of stress, lots of unhappy people all because they're not capable of being independent human beings. These cops made damn sure that these kids could not be independent. It's a terrible thing and we shouldn't tolerate it. Please, vote in your local elections. Let it be known to the officials that run things, your mayor, whoever, whenever something like this happens, that you do not approve of it and you expect them to not allow it to continue to happen. I'm Jody Bruchon Politics. Thanks for listening. See you next time.